welcome back everyone to Math and Spanish Magic Academy. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Then drop a comment with any math, Spanish, or English topic you want for me to cover. So let's start your day with multiplying exponents. So there's certain rules for multiplying exponents. Here we have the first one where you multiply powers with the same base. So here you have a raised to the n power times a raised to the n. So they have the same base which is the variable a and then you just add okay, the exponents n plus n. So let's take a look at this example. 2 cubed times 2 raised to the fifth power. So they have the same base which is 2, so you leave the same base and then you add the exponents 3 plus 5. Remember the base is a big number, the 2, and the exponent is the little number to which the variable or the numbers is raised to. And then you simplify, 3 plus 5 is 8, so 2 raised to the 8th power, and um, 2 raised to the 8th power is like if you had 2 multiplied by itself 8 times, so 2 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? It's not 2 times 8, no, okay? is the 2 multiplied by itself 8 times. So how much is 2 raised to the 8th power? 256, okay? And this will be your final answer, 256, okay? We don't have variables, so your answer is going to be a number. Now we're going to review second example that we have here, example number 2, multiply powers with variables. Variables are the letters. So in this case, they have the same variable, right? x and x, okay? So we're going to follow the same law, x, and then we add the exponents. If they have the same variable or base, we're going to add the exponents. So 2 plus 7, so our answer is x raised to the 2 plus 7, ninth power. And I cannot simplify it more, so x raised to the ninth power is my answer, okay? Then let's take a look at problem number three. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. Multiply powers with coefficients and variables. Now we're going to have coefficients. Coefficients are the numbers three and five. They're the big numbers, okay, to the left side of the variable. The variable, remember, is the letter. And the exponent are the little numbers, the three and the four, okay? So let's take a look at this. First we're going to multiply the coefficients, okay? So 3 times 5, and we have parentheses, so that means that they're multiplying. So how much is 3 times 5? Is 15, okay? And then let's take a look at the variable. We have the same variable, right? It's, it's x and it's x. So my, I leave the same variable. And then we're going to take a look at the exponents. Exponents are the little numbers. Okay, so let's do it with purple. Is the 3 and the 4. Okay, because they have the same variable, which is x, we're going to add them. So 3 plus 4, right? And our final answer is going to be 15 x, and then 3 plus 4 is 7. And that's it. 15 x raised to the 7th power. I multiply the coefficient 3 times 5, I leave the same variable x, and then I add the exponents, which are the little numbers, 3 plus 4 is 7. And that's it, I cannot simplify more. Okay, so that's the third problem. Let's take a look at the fourth problem. Multiplying powers with different variables. Remember, in order for us to add the exponents, they need to have the same variable. So let's take a look at the ones that have the same variable. Okay, we have x squared and then x raised to the fifth power. So they're going to have the same variable, so let's add them. It's going to be equal to x, we add the exponents 2 plus 5, right? And then I don't have another y, right? So I'm just going to leave y cubed, okay, on the other side, and you just simplify. 2 plus 5 is 7, so x raised to the seventh power, and I just have 
one y cubed, I don't have another one, and this is my final answer. I cannot simplify more, so my answer is x raised to the seventh power y cubed. That's it. I cannot add them because they're different variables or letters. Mm -hmm. Great job. And now let's take a look at our next problem. Multiplying, multiply powers raised to a power. So let's take a look at this one. So we have, look at the difference between other examples that we have here. We have x cubed, and the x cubed is inside a parenthesis, and is raised to the second power, times, okay, x raised to the fourth power, and the x raised to the fourth power is cubed, okay? So whenever you are multiplying exponents, okay, in this case when you have a parenthesis, an exponent inside a parenthesis, and it's being raised to another parenthesis, you multiply the exponents, okay? When you have this, okay? You have an exponent inside a parenthesis and it's being raised to another exponent, okay? You don't add, okay? This is when you have parentheses, when you have this case, okay? x cubed, that x cubed raised to the second part. So three times two is six, so I'm gonna have x, three times two, I'm gonna three times two, and then I'm gonna put a parenthesis here, and then x to the fourth power, all raised to the third power. So four times three, I'm gonna multiply that. So four times three. And then I simplify, right? So I'm gonna have three times two, six, and then four times three, 12. Okay, and then look at this. They have the same base, the same variable, which is x, right? So then I have to add the exponents, okay? I'm gonna add six plus 12, so I'm gonna have x, and then six plus 12, okay? And then my final answer is gonna be x raised to the 18th power, and that's it, okay? So these are the rules whenever you have, like this case, an exponent in parentheses raised to another exponent, you multiply, right? 3 times 2 6, 4 times 3 12, and then the final answer, if they have the same base, like they have x, then you add them. If they didn't have the same base, then they, this will be like separate um, variables. Okay, so great job so far. And then we're going to take a look at our last example. Okay, Multi multiplying exponents with different bases. This is what uh, the law that we review, for example, a, b, when we have, um, you have a coefficient, we have a variable, okay? So you're gonna do, the a is raised to the n power, so we're gonna establish it as different terms, a raised to the n power times the b raised to the n power. So let's take a look at this example. You have three x, all the three x is raised to the fourth power, okay? so. Let's multiply the three raised to the fourth power. So I'm gonna have three raised to the fourth, right? And then the x needs to be raised to the fourth power too. So times x raised to the fourth, right? And then I don't have, what I'm gonna do is three raised to the fourth, that means it's gonna be three the three multiplied by itself four times, right? And this is 81, right? And then the x raised to the fourth, it just stays the same, right? Because I cannot do anything with that. So my final answer is 81 x raised to the fourth power, and that's it, okay? And that's the last problem regarding multiplying exponents. Well, if you guys need anything, please make sure to uh, write me a comment and please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. See you later.